Hello YouTube, this is Jay, and this is my new planted aquarium that I set up. And this is a DIY LED light which I built. So I will be showing you the step-by-steps of how I built this LED lights. Okay, if you look at the details here, I have LED bars arrayed like this. And each bar runs along and is connected by a wire to this bar and all of these bars so I have basically four separate circuits going on here and they all connect up here and they are all gathering over here into this cable which is connected to a 3.5 amp 12 volt adapter so that is how it is laid out so it's four LED bars that are connected um, by an adapter so that's basically how it looks like okay so now let's go over the materials that I use to build my DIY LED light so first thing is the LEDs themselves and I used these things these are LED bars so they are a long strip that have built-in circuits in them and each of these is the LED these are the things that light up so it comes with a bunch of those connected and if you look at the tips here, there's a plus and a minus. So if you connect, so this is a, this particular uh, one is a 12 volt LED bar. So if you connect a plus to here in 12 volts and a minus here in 12 volts, basically um, the lights will turn on. So that's how these things work. So I had four 50 centimeter bars. So I have uh, 50 centimeter, um, 12 volt that consume about 7.2 watts each and I have four of those and I got a 3.5 amp 12 volt adapter and I had a foam PVC board which I used to mount all of the lights and all of these cost about 25 US dollars. Of course, I didn't pay in US dollars, but that's about how much they cost. So these are the materials that I used. Okay, so those are the materials I use. Now, you need to figure out what type of adapter you're going to get once you decide um, how many LED bars you need. So basically, um, my LED bars, I had four of 7.2 watt um, LED bars that were 12 volts. So this adds up to 28.8 watts so I need 28.8 watts of power that's running in 12 volts to power my system and basically the equation that you need to know is amperes equals watts divided by volts so basically because my system is running at 28.8 watts and it is a 12 volt system because these LED bars run in 12 volts that means the ampere that I need to run this is 2.4 amperes. So 28.8 divided by 12 is 2.4. So if I get an adapter that is rated for at least 2.4 amps, I should be fine. But you'll notice that I actually got a 3.5 amp adapter. And that is because in order to be safe, you want to run an adapter that has a slightly greater capacity than what you um, absolutely need. So basically, Say I'm running the system and I get a 2 amp adapter because it's cheaper. Um, basically what's going to happen is the circuits are going to overload and they can catch on fire. So you don't want that. So I, want, so I bought a 3.5 amp adapter that's quite significantly higher than the amount I need. And adapters um, come in, they have two ratings. They have an ampere rating and they have a volt rating. So because um, my lights need 12 volts, I got a 12 volt adapter that can run 3.5 amps of current so that is those are the materials that you need okay okay now I'm gonna um, explain how I um, connected all the LED bars together to my adapter so this is what an adapter looks like these are the LED bars and LED bars have a plus and a minus at the end so you gotta connect them correctly otherwise they will not turn on so I had four LED bars and because they were too long I actually cut them in half and uh, it doesn't matter, you can connect either end and they'll turn on. So I had four LED bars, I had plus minus, plus minus, plus minus. 
So these are all the LED bars. And the other, uh, other half I connected like this. Staggered. So I'll connect the plus to the plus here. And the minus to the minus. And I did the same for all of them. And then I connected wires to the plus and I gathered them together. And I connected them to the minus all together. And then I connected this. So adapter also has a minus and a plus. So all the minus here, I connected to the adapter here, and all the plus here, I connected to the, to the adapter there. So that is how um, my light is wired. And next, I'll show you step by step of how I actually build the light. Hello, YouTube. Today I'll be teaching you. I'm going through me building my DIY LED lights. So I'll be using these LED bars for my uh, lights. And here I have a material called Vomex. It's basically a PVC board. And I will be using this as my base plate for my lights. Now the great thing about these PVC boards, these Vomex boards, is that uh, they are easy to craft because they are soft. So you can just use a regular knife to cut it. And the downside is it's not very strong. But then again, it only has to support these really light um, LED bars, so that is not a big problem. So I'll just be cutting this board to the size that I want with a ruler. I'm using the ruler to guide my blade. A couple cuts. See? Comes right off. So now I've got this thing the desired size. I am going to start working on the LED bars. Now these LED bars, um, you can cut them in between uh, the spots. So this thing is actually too long for my tank. They come in 50 centimeters, so it actually goes over. So I need to cut it somewhere. So what I'll do is I'll cut these in half and then stagger them. So you can just cut these with regular old scissors. So I will be cutting these in half. So there you go. Just cut it in half right there. Okay, so basically you can cut it right here. So it's connected like this, and you can cut in between those bars, and there's a plus and minus side to it. Alright? So I've cut these in half, and I'll arrange them staggered on my board. Okay, so I've cut all the LEDs in half, and I will arrange them staggered like this. Now I have to connect these LEDs with wires. So I have here, I'm gonna have to use a soldering iron and some lead solder all these pieces together and that's what I'll be doing next okay so with these wires you want to take a wire stripper and strip the ends off like that of course you can use scissors but it's definitely better to invest in a good wire stripper it's much easier okay now I have stripped all of the tips of these um, electrical cord. So because I cut the LEDs in half, I'm going to reconnect them using these wires. So I'm going to solder them on something like this. And these LED bars have a plus and minus, so you have to make sure that the plus and minus are aligned properly, otherwise they will not turn on. So that's that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cut up this adapter so I can connect it to these LED bars. Now this is an adapter. It's the exact same adapter that you would use for any electrical appliance. An um, adapter is basically a device that turns your um, electrical outlet into something that is more stable and has a lower voltage. So these LED bars are powered by 12 volt electricity. If you do anything more than 12 volts, it will not work. And um, in Korea, the electrical outlets come out at 220 volts, so I cannot connect this directly into an outlet. So this adapter 
turns those 220 volts into 12 volts so that it will work with the LED bars. Now this is a 3.5 amp um, adapter. That basically means that this adapter is able to um, process 3.5 amps of current. If you have a whole bunch of LED bars that exceed 3.5 amps, then this thing will overheat and catch on fire. So you have to make sure you have an adapter that has enough um, of an amperage rating to handle the number of LED bars that you're planning to uh, connect. All right. So this is the adapter. It's the exactly same as any other electrical appliance that has an adapter like your laptop. It's nothing special about it just because it's going to be the LEDs. All it has to do is convert the 220 volts from an outlet into 12 volts. So what you're going to do is this tip here. Now you would normally connect this to an electrical appliance, but what you're going to do, take your scissors and cut it right off. And then you're going to want to strip it. Okay, so that's come off the tip. And if you look at this tip, you can see that there are um, copper wires on the outside. Okay, I'm just going to separate them. There. Okay, so I've got it focused now. You can see at the tip here, there's one on the inside, and I've gathered all the wires on the outside into here. Okay, so that's important because you see the thing on the inside, that's your plus, and the outside is your minus. Remember, these LED bars have a plus and minus, okay? So you gotta connect this thing to the plus and this to the minus, otherwise your LEDs won't turn on at all. So that's that. Okay, now these LED strips have these little stickers at the bottom, so I'm going to stick this onto the plate. Okay, now I have sticked all of the LEDs, I've arranged them on the plate. Now these ends, I'm just going to gather all the pluses together and the minuses together, and then I'm going to hook it up with the adapter. Okay, so I have connected all the plus and minuses together, and I have soldered it to the tip of the adapter. According to the plus and minus, I've arranged them properly, so I'll just plug this in. And now the moment of truth. Voila! So there, the light works. Now I'll just add some finishing touches. Okay, now I have a few extra bits and pieces, which I'll glue on with some regular super glue to create some rims to make the light look nicer. Okay, so I built a little rim around it and some stands. So let's set it up on the tank. Okay, here's the finished product. It's nice and lit up. Fits onto the rims. And the tank is looking very bright. Thanks for watching, guys.